Hey guys, welcome to our new series, Software Testing Practical Interview Questions. So this series is exclusively prepared uh, to understand what kind of practical questions you get in interviews. So the term practical I have used here, it's because there are some set of questions which you can answer only if you have a real time experience. Okay, so you can learn the programming tools, Java or JavaScript, you can learn the automation tools, you know how the manual testing works, all those are fine. But there are some challenging questions, some scenario based questions, which you can answer only if you have worked in real time. And if you have come across such complexities in your project. Okay, so these questions will help interviewer to assess how much experience they have in terms of their um, software testing. So let's try to get answers for few of the questions. For that, I have gathered the questions from various sources. I have posted a post in LinkedIn asking, you know, candidates to contribute. I have reached out to individuals. So with that, I have prepared a nice set of around 40 to 50 questions. Uh, which we will go one by one in each video. So that way, you know, you will understand um, what kind of questions you can expect. All right. So let's get started and see our first question for this video. Question number one. So if your project have weekly releases, what is the automation coverage on that? So this is the question asked by Abhishek from Cognizant interview. Okay. So I just put copy pasted same question here, the way the interviewer asked candidate, I exactly use same terminology. So here, let's try to understand, first of all, why did interviewer ask this question? So what are they expecting from candidate? So we need to understand the purpose first before answering any question. Um, so project have a weekly releases. So that means every week they develop something and they push it into production by end of the week. Okay, so they develop some new functionalities, new pages or new backend services, they do anything, you know, which needed for their application. And as a QS, we have to thoroughly test it on that week itself. So once we certify the uh, build and they release end of the week. So top com product based companies do these very often. Okay, release the releasing the project build for every week. So they have weekly releases. Um, that is something followed by most of the product based companies. So now what is the automation coverage here? So the reason why they were specifically asking automation coverage is, let's say your application is so vast with many pages, right? So let's say there are six, seven modules is there and 50 to 60 pages are there. A lot of functionality is there. But in this week, you guys touched a basic functionality in one single page, right? And you modified some backend services or backend SQL server, uh, SQL queries. So you test that piece. But how are you certifying the whole application with this small new change? Okay, you might be testing a on a surrounding that module. But how about you know, how are you certifying the whole application is in good status to go into the production. So what is your automation strategy to run the complete regression, let's say you have some 300 tests, right? So every week, what is your strategy? Like when you're going to release, how do you manage all that massive scenarios for every week frequent releases? That is what interviewer want to know what is your thought process here, what are the strategies you as an experienced test engineer perform here. So number one thumb rule guys, as a thumb rule, no matter what releases you do, you do weekly release or monthly release, it is recommended to run whole regression suite on nightly jobs. Okay, you should have a CI CD like Jenkins or Azure DevOps or you can do it even in GitHub. So you need to set up a job which triggers your whole automation suite. Okay, so let's say that automation suite have 300 tests. That's okay. Let it run whole night. We are not bothered. 
So when you develop something, let's say first three days you uh, developed some new functionality. On fourth day you tested that functionality, and on that day night trigger whole regression suite completely. It might take seven hours and eight hours, but by the time you come up in the morning, you will have a report. Okay, so. with this there is no impact no matter how much huge your application is if you have a nice setup like this where you have a jenkin job which triggers in the night by taking the latest dev code also the latest changes of your code automation code branch and if you automate this process by the time you come morning you will see the report okay that is something you can get started with an answer uh by telling that it's not a big deal no matter how large the complexity of application is as long as you maintain this uh devops infrastructure of running nightly jenkin jobs okay and i am sure that interviewer will not end your statement here because he want they want to understand how you take up this when you are in most pressurized situation like what if you get a new build a day before release this could be a counter question see i'm trying to explain a whole different scenario so you can answer based on the uh, situation what they were you know expecting from you so if you get a build a day before release so that means you got a code on thursday from developer asking uh, saying that they implemented and you do have only one day to test it okay so let's say you know last day we are releasing in the uh, production this evening 4 pm and you got a latest build with fixes in the morning 9 am so what you can do in that mean time because here you don't have a time to run whole regression right so in that case you need to identify the areas where the changes are impacted okay so let's say you have a three different modules one is transaction module one is profile user profile module and another one is you know a back end module so you should know what your application is and where the changes are really made for this week if changes made are applicable to module x then at least you need to make sure that changes impacted module is not disturbed so you should run targeted test so if you have a test automation framework in place so you should tag them okay so let's say if they belongs to module x then you need to tag with that module name so you can run the test only with those tags okay so all the major frameworks like testng cucumber in javascript mocha chai all these support tagging mechanism where you can tag test with some name and at least run those targeted tests in the time duration warp you have okay apart from that so you cannot leave that that being said i'm not saying to leave other modules so you cannot run full regression because you are in the tight deadline at least you know you have to run core regression so that means for your whole application you have to make sure there is one core regression okay that means picking up main modules from or main tests from each module you have to prepare a set of regression suite uh, call it as a uh, what kind of regression i would say it is a subset of the whole regression our people would either call it as a smoke suite sanity suite you know there are different terminologies but overall point is have some selected test which you feel that must be tested before pushing the application because that that impacts the whole business you need to identify the scenarios which if they fail will screw up the whole product in the production so business impacted scenarios need to be shortlisted and to be part of this core regression right and you need to make sure running those as well and in sprint automation stories so obviously in this sprint let's say one week sprint you have you got a stories to develop right so you need to write automation for them as well so make sure the exist functionalities what developed in that week are running and a high level core regression and that specific module which got impacted at least we need to run this you know before going release if you don't have a whole 6 or 7 hours time to run whole regression suite okay you know this really impresses a recruiter if you can elaborate and explain 
even if they don't ask this question you need to talk because each and everything what you talk resembles your experience okay you give them the broad answer so they know how you know how much experience challenges you have already faced in this area and third one you might get this question and this is very tricky question and you should be very confident what if you don't have enough time so as i said realize this in the evening here probably if you have enough time you will do case number 2 let's say you got a build 2 hours before release you got a build at 2 pm and you know th- that is obvious that product owner or developers will try to push asking no we need to make it release we have only 2 hours time what will you do you know what is the answer reject the build now from qa we are holding the release we are not giving the sign off and deferring the release to the next week nobody can question us because we are quality assurance people and if we are not confident about the build giving 1 2 hours before we cannot approve and we cannot you know just test something and leave it because at the end if something screw up in the production you are the first person who is responsible to give the explanation so is it just not that your colleague or you know your dev um, peer or your t- team lead is not about them if something goes wrong it will come from you know very higher level and you know you should be able to answer them so if you don't have enough time draft a nice email and say that we are not able to go to production because of this xyz issues even if they ask you to test something on top over that email that is different story if there is enough proof for people accepting the fact that we are not confident as a qs that is a different story but technically you should reject the bid okay so when you answer this you know people will try to drill you to this level uh, when you start with general answer that i will run the regression whole night they will try to understand what will you do if you don't have enough time or not even an hour so all these scenarios might be expected the question could be simple but from this question these are the different things interviewer will try to understand from you and that way you know they can assess your leadership skills and how you are smart in your uh, software testing um, life cycle all right so that's about the question what we got from abhishek from cognizant i hope that clears your question so in the next video we will see the question number 2 on uh, how we can tackle another practical question okay thank you and you know please subscribe to this youtube channel and you will be definitely benefited with many tips like this on software testing thanks